So it's just after Christmas. I got a little bit of money and things are starting to go on sale. And I ask myself, as I'm going shopping for these great Boxing Day sales with my kids, is there anything I want? Is there anything cool that I can find? I have lots of tools. I got a lot of different things in my house. And then I see it. Well, browsing through the toys with my kids, I see something that I want. I don't necessarily need it, but being the car person that I am, it's something I want for my office. Why? Because it's a car. Playmobil is from Germany, and so is Porsche. And they have now teamed up and given me a Carrera 4S that I can play with. So why do I want it? Could be the fact that it's only going for $20 because Canadian Tire is really trying to clear out their stock. Why do I really want it? That is something that can be found on this podcast. AutoWorks.net Autopod, streaming day or night, coming right at you, right here, right now. Welcome back to the AllWorks.net podcast. I am your host, as always, Mr. Everett J. himself. Coming to you from our main website, AutoLooks.net, where you'll find an extensive list of ratings dating all the way back to the 2010 model year, 2009 year, of vehicles that we have rated. We rate well over 500 vehicles every year on our exterior design ratings for the Covenant A-plus award of design excellence to crown the best design of the year. We also have the most extensive list of corporate websites from around the world. Big or small, we have them all on the autolux.net corporate links website page. And we like to give out a special welcome to our sponsor from Magic Mind. Check it out on our website. We do have a coupon code to save you some money on their products. And we'd like to put a big shout out to our good friends over at Podbeam for hosting this site and getting our, our podcast out into the world and to all the other major streaming services. So thank you, Podbeam, and thank you to any of our other sponsors who are listening right now. But today we're taking a look at Playmobil. Yes, a toy. A toy manufacturer that has been in our hearts for a very long time. We have had Playmobil since we were a kid. They're one of those toys that were always around. My aunt, when I used to go to her place, she had an original so gas station with the jeep and the little hatchback car it was fun to play with it was cool it had this vehicle that looked like a jeep it didn't say jeep on it but we all knew it's supposed to be a jeep and then this little hatchback but there was no names no nothing attached and throughout the years playmobil always had their own variations of vehicles they had their own sports car they had their own truck they had their own vans they had their racing cars but it wasn't until they teamed up with Porsche and released the 911, the 911 GT3, and the Carrera 4S for Playmobil. Now, I can own my own Playmobil Porsche. And being a car person as I am, I definitely would want it. Similar to that of my Hot Wheel collection. There are a lot of cars out there that I want to own, but I can't afford to buy the actual vehicles. Well, Hot Wheels makes variations of them, so I can find them. My collection is full of all kinds of neat and intricate vehicles, like the Simpson sedan, the Jetson car, car and back to the future DeLorean. Playmobil has realized that Hot Wheels has a market. And if you've listened to our podcast, Automotive Advertising, you'll understand why Playmobil jumped into bed with Porsche. They're now doing this because they're starting to see that adults are willing to spend money on toys. Where my parents' generation wouldn't think twice about spending money on a toy for their shelf. My generation never let it go. And when companies like Hot Wheels and Lego jump into our racing games, like Forza, we get even more interested in owning these products. And the Porsche was one of those things. I saw it. The price was right. That's basically the main reason why I bought it. But it was a Porsche. The Mission E from the Playmobil movie, my son wanted. Not just because it's a remote control car, but also because it's a Porsche. In the Porsche City series, they have pickup trucks. They have cars. They have transports. They have cranes. They, they have all these great things. How you look at it, they even have their own racing car series, which you can customize. So it's cool. It's neat. But it's their own vehicles. It's like Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels has their own designs. Not everybody strives to find the Hot Wheels design cars. They want their own vehicles. They want the Pangini Hero. They want the Pangini Hero. They want the Koei Jesco. And like Playmobil, they want the actual car. I am more willing to spend my money on the Porsche Macayan Playmobil than I am on a Hot Wheels one. A Hot Wheels one, I can't put on display. That is the difference between Playmobil and Hot Wheels. Playmobil is a display vehicle sitting right next to my head on a shelf where I record 
record these podcasts, I have a Volkswagen Beetle, a Volkswagen Microbus, the Toyota Tacoma, and the Back to the Future DeLorean. Beside that, I also have the Porsche Carrera 4S in the dealership form. And I'm looking to add more to my series. The James Bond Aston Martin, the A-Team Van Dura, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, and soon enough, an American muscle car, which I have not seen 100%, but I can take in a wild guess that it's going to be a 1968 Corvette Stingray. Don't quote me on that, but that's what it kind of looks like. Hi, it's Everett. I'm sorry for any interruption, but today I'd like to bring our sponsor out. MagicMind.co. MagicMind themselves make a great product. I have actually tried this product from them. Their product is a magical elixir, or what you would call the world's first productivity drink. Developed for entrepreneurs, writers, website creators, podcast hosts, podcast creators, automotive designers, and even race car drivers. Yes, people within the automotive industry, like myself or anyone else in other industries out there, this drink can help you with things like brain fog and an unreliable focus. Are you one of those people that sit down during the day in front of your computer and could focus for like an hour, and then all of a sudden your brain starts to wander off from the project at hand? You still got hours of work ahead of you, but your mind stops wandering. It just wants to go and take a break. But when you do that, you know you won't be able to come back and stay focused on the exact same spot you were at before. Before. Well, Magic Mind is a product that will help you keep going throughout the day. Their magical elixir will do that for you, and it is an all-natural magical elixir. This amazing productivity drink I have taken in place of my coffee just to see 100% that it will work for me, and it did. It kept my focus throughout the day. I was more in tune and focused on what I was doing that day, all thanks to the Magic Mind elixir. You could sip it, you could drink it, you could take it as a shot, any way you want to take it. As long as you drink all the contents of it, you will get the rewards from Magic Mind's Elixir. And being our sponsor, Magic Mind has given you, our listener, a special one-time code on the magicmind.co slash auto website. That discount on your first order. And again, on your first order, if you are not satisfied, they do have a money-back guarantee, no questions asked, if it doesn't meet your specifications. And you can find links to it on the autolux.net website or through magicmind.co so remember this is a magical elixir that'll help you keep focused and help increase your productivity during the day like it did for myself the doctor to the auto industry mr everett j that name again is magic mind back to you everett But these are toys. Why do I want to buy toys? Well, if you take a look at my shelf, I set the people up. I have the original Beetle and Microbus, not the special edition ones. So the ones with the couple in the Microbus and the family in the Beetle. So the family can have a picnic. The Microbus is out camping. I can make these people look like they're camping. So instead of having this big model, like those big Burgo or Maisto models sitting on my shelf, I have this toy with people that go with it sitting on my shelf. And plain Mobile knows this and they know I will buy it. They know that I am a big Back to the Future fan and if they created a Back to the Future DeLorean, I would buy it. They know my son is a big fan of Ghostbusters and lo and behold, Ecto-1 shows up, Scooby-Doo and their mystery machine. Sure, my son got a good deal on it when it was on sale, but he still has it. Now, some of these models can be utilized for other things within the Playmobil world. Playmobil has their adventure van, which is essentially the same setup as the A-Team van and the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. They're going to sell more variations of Scooby-Doo in the A-Team because of their association with movies and TV shows. The Adventure Van is going to be for the child or sometimes parent who wants something to play with. Something you put on display is something that looks real. My Porsche in a little dealership is a display setting. The Adventure Van is a toy. But why would I buy the toy? Well, I am just, in a sense, kind of crazy because I do buy toys. My office is filled filled with all kinds of toys and I like to collect all kinds of neat and different things but when it comes to stuff that I love like movies like James Bond, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, hell even now Knight Rider. If they created a Plymouth Fury from Christine I would go out and buy it just so I can have my own Christine and the fact that it comes with figurines and it allows me to put it on display with people doing actual things like Biff is waxing my truck, Marty is videotaping Doc, the husband and wife, the husband is reading the map 
as the wife is getting the coffee. The mother and son are sitting at the picnic. Well, the father is considering going surfing. They're a display item. It's something I can actually put on my table or on a shelf of a living room. If you've seen Playmobil, they actually sell the Starship Enterprise. Now, it's not cheap. Living in Canada, it's like almost $700. By no means cheap. It is something I'd love to get from my dad. Where if he had it, it would be like his yellow submarine from Lego. It would be put on display. How many people go out and buy the Lego Star Wars heads? Build them and just put them on display. How many people play with them? How many people are going to be going out and buying the James Bond Aston Martin? Or the Back to the Future DeLorean? Or the A-Team van? And actually playing with it? It's a toy! But these are display toys. And that's what Playmobil knows. They know there is a part of the market who loves to display things. We will buy toys just to send them out and display them for you. And that's what they're selling us. They're not selling selling us toys, they're selling us display items. Where you can come downstairs and see an X-Wing hanging from my ceiling and my James Bond Aston Martin sitting on the shelf next to a picture of my wife's grandfather interviewing Sir Sean Connery during the filming of From Russia With Love. So I can now have James Bond's Aton Marston sitting next to a picture of actual James Bond. I could display it for all to see. But then, why would they create things like the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL or even a Mini Cooper. Well, the 300 SL is still a display vehicle, but children will think it's cool because of its going doors. The Mini Cooper is just one of those things that there are so many fans of that you want to buy it. And if Playmobil is really smart, they're going to take a listen to me right now. Okay, you got your pens and paper ready, Playmobil? If they were to team up with Rowan Atkinson and create a Mr. Bean Mini Cooper in the black and green combo with Mr. Bean, Miss Wicket, and Teddy. They can hit another portion of the market. People like myself. The Mini Cooper I like, but I don't know if I display it with all the people. It's got a Bobby and a man and a woman and their dog in the vehicle. That's it. Like, it's not the coolest thing to display. At least with Porsche, they made it a dealership. I got my mechanic coming out, and I got my salesman on his computer, waiting for people to come in and buy this Porsche. Even though it's permanently going to stay in that dealership. The Scooby-Doo van, on the other hand, has a display portion. But Scooby-Doo, plain did right because with the scooby-doo van if you want scooby or shaggy you actually have to buy them separate they don't come with the actual mystery machine they don't so if i want to create an actual display of my scooby-doo van then i have to spend a bit more to get scooby and shaggy as well because they are the show that's why it's called scooby-doo and not called the mystery crew Similar to that, Ghostbusters does the same thing. It has one character from the original series and another character from the new movie. Not like the new, new one that falls in line with the original series, but the new one with the all-female cast. Now, if I was a big Ghostbuster fan, like my son is, I would literally go out and buy all of the original characters to go with it. Why? Because I'd want to put it on display with everything. Myself, I just want the car. Kit is now coming out. Knight Rider Kit, the Firebird. Now, I was never a big fan of Knight Rider. I didn't watch it a whole heck of a lot. Never really understood it because you know i was a kid at the time all i ever watched before was a cool car which essentially is a firebird i can go and see it on the road but why would i go out and buy kit because the last thing i said it's a firebird the GT3 racing car. The police car. See, the police one you can utilize. And that could be the one chasing another one. Porsche is now creating a 911 Carrera RS 2.7. So, Playmobil has now found a new niche. They're creating brand awareness for not only themselves, but for the Volkswagen Auto Group. Especially their Porsche division. By utilizing the Porsche division for both race cars, two dealership vehicles, a police car, a horse wagon puller, and a fire brigade vehicle they have created more awareness towards the porsche brand with these children playing with them are now going to be incited to look at porsches and think they are better than some of the other products out there but now that they are getting into volkswagen vehicles minis mercedes aston martin delorean they are branching out and hitting a wider range of customers Playmobil is now starting to look outside of their own market. They're starting to say it's great to sell toys to kids because kids, all you got to do is have an amazing commercial that makes them want it so badly they will either bother their parents or save up their money for it. Hell, some of them will get it and never even play with it. Or they'll get it, they'll put the whole thing together, they'll play with it for one afternoon and then forget about it. 
but it's there. And creating and going after an adult segment brings more people in to your stores. I now will go to Toys R Us and take a look around in both the Lego and Playmobil sections to see what products they have and if I have any spare money I can you know, use without my wife knowing. Which means now I can go out and buy a Lego Lamborghini Countach. Or I could buy a Playmobil Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. I can now put these on display and tell people, yeah, I'd like to showcase cars in my office. But I'm not going to go out and buy those super heavy, really highly detailed cars that everyone else has. I'm different than that. I want to showcase to you that I once was a kid and I love to play with toys. And I really love Playmobil. Here's my toys. Here's my collection of Playmobil cars. They are here for you to see. They are here for me to occasionally play with. And they are here because I love my toys. And I love those brands. They're essentially just display vehicles collecting dust. But in a sense, did Playmobil pry well over $100 out of my pocket this Christmas as I bought both the Microbus and the Beetle to put on a shelf and never use it? Yes. The answer to that question is yes. They did. They separated me from my money. A toy company managed to separate an adult from his money. And if toy companies can learn ways of advertising or marketing their products towards another niche of the marketplace, they can increase their bottom line. It's similar to an automaker building a halo car and trying to go after the top tier racing car segment or an entry level economy car. Bringing more brand awareness to you and more customers in will keep them there. And with them being part of my childhood and having vehicles there while I played as a child, they now have vehicles for me to play with as an adult. So thank Thank you, Playmobil, for giving me my childhood back. And thank you for giving me a reason to go into a toy store on my own to buy toys again. I now understand what it is like to be a child again. It gives you that overwhelming happiness that you have forgotten about. So for a company like Playmobil to bring this back with adults is an amazing thing. And I know this has just been a podcast about toys and how these toys have reached out to us. But in the end, everybody still wants to play with toys. So for myself, Everett J, if you like this podcast, please like, share, or comment through one of our many social feeds or head on over to our website where you can actually share through any of the major social feed networks our website directly to your friends, family, coworkers, or anyone else on autolux.net. And while there, don't forget to spy, check out our corporate links and find car companies from countries you didn't even know had car companies. Get a little bit more help, play around on some of the automotive games, check out some of the toys websites how we have a link to playmobil if you want to see what playmobil has for adults these days so stop by the autolux.net website and take a peek spend some time and give it a chance to become your new automotive site and we'd like to put a thank out to our sponsors from magic mind and also podbeam.com for pushing our podcast out there to the public and getting us on many many different platforms out there from itunes to amazon music the autolux.net podcast is there so for myself everett j and the whole autolux crew here strap yourself in for this one fun wild ride from playmobile